I'm a freedom of speech guy, right? I believe you should be able to say whatever the fuck you want to say, whenever you want to say it. Granted, though, the caveat is, if you're going to spurt some racist shit, then expect to get punched in the fucking face, okay? Lars, didn't you get didn't you get uh, stabbed by some Nazis back in the day? Is that is that a right story? Yeah, I did. You want to hear that story? I, I want. I want. To, let's let's. Can we wrap on that story because you've never told me that story, and I want to know. All right. So this is, this is a, okay because the story actually. Yeah. Okay. So I'm at a party. I had a black girlfriend at the time. She was black, uh-huh. Persian, and yeah, but she she looked more you know dark you know obviously very mm-hmm. dark, and her, and Danielle, what was her name? And um, we were at a party. And in the kitchen, and these fucking boneheads come by, and they start calling her nigger and all that shit. So I fucking obviously lose my shit. So we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting. All of a sudden, I swear to God, I thought somebody kicked me in the leg. Sure. Right? Like as hard as they could, because I remember I spun. And it got all broken up, got all broken up. We get out of the house. I'm in, we're in this, we're in a Toyota Corolla. I get dropped off first. And so I'm walking up the stairs to my mom's apartment and I feel something squishy in my boots. Wow. I'm like, what the fuck? I go upstairs, I go into my room. I take off my, my, my boot. And I realize then that that my, that, that my shoe is filled with blood. Right. And I was wearing, you know, knee high, those knee high socks. Right. So the, my pants, there was no blood on my pants. It was my sock had absorbed it. So I'm like, I got it. And I see that I've been stabbed. Right. And I'm, cause it, there, there's a big, there's like a big hole. And I, and I see some of that brown glass. So it was a broken beer bottle because it's all jagged and everything. Right. So I think to myself, I got to sew this up because if I wake my mom up, I'm going to fucking get, you know, she's going to kill me. Right. So. I go into the little closet and there's some fishing line and I go downstairs and underneath the street, like, I don't want to make any noise. And I put super glue on it uh, and I stick it together. Right. And then I fuck, I go, fuck, I gotta, I gotta sew this up. So I put some fishing line and I sew it up. Right. And I'm all uh, good. Okay. So fla- fa- flash forward to about a week and a half later and it's now scabbed over the, um, the fishing line. Right. Mm-hmm. And my, and I get out of the shower and I'm naked and my brother goes, what the fuck happened? He's like, I don't know how he sees it. Mm-hmm. Goes, what the fuck happened to your leg? And I go, I, I got stabbed, got in a fight. And he goes, well, what? it's fucking green, dude. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, you need to get that checked out. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, fuck. So he sits me down in the toilet, right? I'm sitting there and he gets a bottle of hydrogen peroxide and he takes his uh, toothbrush because he's got to scrape the scab off. Cause we got to get the fishing line out. So I'm sitting there and he's got the bottle of hydrogen peroxide in a toothbrush and he's, and he's, and he's ripping off the scab. Right. And we ended up having to cut the fishing line out. So now oh. it's just a gnarly scar with a, with a cox bar tattoo over it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. At no point did you think, uh, I should tell my brother at least maybe not my mom and I should get this thing, uh, actually stitched up. Cause I, I just can't imagine how old were you? Oh, 16, 17. I can't imagine 16, 17 year old Lars at 3 a.m. did a great stitching job in the first place, <laughs> even if you hadn't used fishing line. <laughs> you don't really realize how crazy it is until you actually get away from it. You know, mm-hmm. you, it's just kind of normal shit that you do. You know, like when I, I got hit in the back of the head one time with a baseball bat, and like my mom didn't take me to the doctor. She just, you know, put a band aid over it. Who hit you? Who hit you with a baseball bat? My brother. <laughs> <laughs> on, on accident? No, no, he flung it at me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>